Try to go fishing. Huh? <laughs> gonna try to go fishing. Oh, fishing? Yep, and we're gonna try. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be good. Oh, you gotta love it. Every time, just clean the boat, just clean the truck, and now this. This is what we go through over here in this part of town, boys. We don't have many lakes. Go through all this crap to put in a little rinky dinky lake that's probably the most pressured lake in georgia honestly there's no point in me even taking this off because once we get the boat out it's going to do the same thing we are good to go let's go ahead and get this rolling let's go ahead and get organized before we get out on the water got some charged gopro batteries here put those in my pocket we got a charger we're going to go ahead and set this up boom that is good to go Got some water bottles because we gotta stay hydrated out, how hydrated out here. And we got some rags just in case. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today I have a boat video for you guys. I'm actually out here by myself. I'm excited about it. I've been wanting to go out on the boat by myself for such a long time. I just like enjoy, you know, coming out here and getting some good time on the water. And that is some of the most fun times in my opinion. It's surprisingly out here when I'm by myself. So we're gonna go out here today. We're actually on Lake Mare, as you guys know, one of the most pressured places you could ever be at. Probably one of the most pressured places in Georgia. I'm, I'm being honest with you. There's so many people that fish out here and I haven't been out here in a few weeks, so I'm excited. In the last episode when we came out here, we caught like two fish in five hours and then in the last 30 minutes, we caught like 12 on a frog. So I'm hoping that's not really the case today. I'm hoping we can get on a consistent bite and catch them throughout the day and it's not really like a last minute thing. I really like to try to figure them out and see how these fish are. We're wondering about the conditions today. There's a lot of clouds outside. The sun's really not even peeking through. As you guys can tell along the banks here, there's a bunch of slop and the last couple of months, there's been a lot of fish pushing up and bedding, um, but I haven't really seen many recently. So yeah, we got a little bit of wind out here today um, as well, which in my opinion is probably gonna help the bite out a bit unless we really get on that frog bite. As long as the wind doesn't get up too much, we'll still be able to catch them in this. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I have rigged up. So I got a frog, obviously. We got the Divine Swim Jig by Six Cents. We got the Hyper Jerk by Six Cents. That's a new bait, you guys saw one. Um, you catch a few good fish on it in a recent video. This is just unique, it's something totally different. We got a spoon on, we got a lipless crankbait, and then down there we got a top water and then we have a spin spinning combo just in case. I think I'm going to probably rig up or re-rig all my baits right now um, for the most part. I think the swim jig and the frog is a good call. Maybe the lipless crankbait is a great call. I might end up switching colors. Um, that hyper jerk might actually get them done on the edge of this grass. So, you know what? We're just gonna experiment today, try a bunch of different things. The fish are gonna change throughout the day. I can already tell you that they're gonna reposition. Um, and it's gonna be interesting with this cloud cover and this wind, I think the fish are gonna be roaming a little bit more today. I don't think the fish are gonna be up in the slop as much as they would be on a sunny day. So that's something that we gotta keep in mind. Maybe a jerk bait today, get the job done. There's actually a boat out here fishing on the freaking juice hole right now, which that's not good, but I'm not too worried about it, guys. We're gonna catch them either way. We're gonna come out here, we're gonna whack them, we're gonna put, up, put together a big bag. Holy cow, what was that? That is no way that was a bass. If that was a bass, that was a hog. Let me tell you, there's a bunch of 10 pounders in here too. So let's go ahead and get to work. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Let's go ahead and roll this thing. I think it's gonna be a good video. Let's get it started. Right, guys, we are going to get it on the road. Before we even start like retying stuff, I, I kinda wanna try out the frog for a second here. There's a couple, that was, <laughs> first cast of the day is always a little, eh. There's a bunch of good, look at that, bunch of good water. There should be a fish up in that. I really wanna, if I can get on a frog bite today, that would be outstanding. I'm not really gonna expect a topwater bite until later in the day, but with it, with, a, with the clouds up today, with the bass that are gonna be roaming, maybe we can get on like a jerk bait bite, maybe even some sort of walking bait bite. My casting is not on point right now, holy cow. But it's always not a bad idea to fish some of this stuff like that that's protected. Um, it can always be a big fish hiding under some of these limbs in this calm water. The 
first thing we need to do before anything, which is very important on Lake Mayor, at least for me, we need to turn on our graphs. I'll always turn on this hummingbird first, the way that they're wired. This one needs to come on first, or we're gonna start having problems with the front graphs. I'm probably only gonna use one of the front graphs today, probably this bottom one and the back one as well. But yeah. So we are gonna make an adjustment here right off the bat. I just think it's the right call. Got my mock smash right here. I'm gonna rig up a jerk bait, or not a jerk bait, a, a fluke. I think this hyper jerk would be good. But the thing is, I wanna get this fluke up in this grass. And you know, a hard bait, treble hook bait is not gonna work in that grass. So, I mean, it could, we could work it on the edge and we could probably still get a good bit of bites, but you know, to play it safe and to get in the areas that we really need to get into, I think we're gonna need a weightless fluke Texas rigged. All right, here's the little fluke that we got on. I'm gonna start off fishing this grass line. There's a huge flat coming up and uh, we have a bunch of wind pushing up in this. This can be dangerous with a little, little fluke. I think if there's any fish roaming along the edge of this grass feeding on bait fish, which they do out here on this flat, um, I think we could get on a really good bite or at least catch a couple good fish right off the bat. It just depends if these fish are gonna be positioned on the edge of this grass. One thing to note, like I said, today's not sunny. Fish are gonna be roaming a lot more. I'm not gonna fish this grass the same that I would on a sunny day. On a sunny day, I'd more, I'd be trying to get up in it. I'd be trying to throw up under that grass and, and trying to get those fish that are protected under that from the sun. Today, with the clouds being out, they're gonna roam. So what the fish are gonna be doing is they're gonna be going up and down this grass patch right here, up and down this flat, feeding on bait fish. So that's one thing to really keep in mind. So today we're gonna to be moving a little bit faster unless we like kind of slow down and end up scanning some fish and end up fishing offshore a little bit more because I know there's a lot of post-spawn fish right now. But yeah, we're just gonna cover some water. We're gonna see if we can catch one that's roaming this grass right here and uh, get the monkey off her back. I got him. No way. Already. Oh yeah, baby. Right away. What did I say? Fish roaming this grass. We pulled right up, snagged this one real quick. That is not a big fish. But what I will say is that that's a monkey off her back and that's the start to our day. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just, this fish felt so small, which he is small, but I didn't even think I had a fish on for a minute there. That was a weird bite. But right there, that is our first fish today. Beautiful little bass. Pretty markings on him. Not big, but that is right off the bat. We got the monkey off her back. So it's always a good sign. I think uh, our little technique right here with covering water with a fluke, I think it's gonna be golden, golden with the conditions today. Dude, this place right here, you <laughs> you guys don't know until you come out here. I'm, I'm telling you now, this place, I know more people that come out here in zero, including myself. I haven't in a very long time and we got the monkey off her back right there, but this place right here is very pressured guys it's it's a it's a difficult little place to fish if you don't know how to fish it it can be tough people that live around this area know exactly what i'm talking about especially the amount of people that just come out in this place so that is good to get get a fish in the boat because i'm telling you man there's been tons of days where i've came out here and zeroed and i and that doesn't happen to me often but out here it happens a lot it hasn't happened in over probably a year and a half but when i first started fishing this place i didn't catch a fish for a good second. There's no, oh, dude, that was a good, guys, this is like three cast after the last, oh, I'm pushing off this. That was actually a good fish. Son, I'm gonna tell you what I did too. I really messed up. I used these Walmart hooks. I'm not the biggest fan of them. Let me tell you, I've used them in the past, but they just, the more and more that I've used them, I just don't have much confidence in them. I should have been using my new six cents stout hooks. That's what should have happened there. But son, that was a good bite. That was a big fish. Got him. Another small one. But that is the second fish to the instantly, guys. That's three bites on this patch. 
that usually does not happen so i think we got <laughs> we on a pattern instantly <laughs> instantly there wasn't even another bait thrown we just tied it on we said what we we're about to do and we did it bass has like a little mark on him from a fan and look at that whoa buddy it's like he's got his top fins growing out of his butthole well i'm gonna have to clean that up his fish has been caught before too he's got a little hole in his mouth thank you so much bud you were a small one but guess what you're a fish Ugh. got dang blood on my carpet because i was tickling his butt that's what i get for tickling a fish's butt he's got some poopy too nasty boy i am be honest, man, this fluke is done already. Look at that. Two more left. Two more. Oh. He, that, that was a fish blowing up on me. That was me. Oh my God. I'm gonna kill it. That was a fish blowing up. He, like I lifted up on my fluke and he had it. Yep. So I got this divine hybrid. Is the high yes, it's the hybrid jig. I, I'm <laughs> every time I'm like using the swim jig and the hybrid jig so much. All right, so we got a divine hybrid jig, black and blue. We have a prawn, black and blue. We're gonna rig this up real quick. There is a ditch behind me, and I haven't had really much luck in it. Last time I came out, we got one on a drop shot in the ditch, but. Let me tell you, with these fish pushing off and some of these, you know, post spawners pulling out, even if there's some more fish pulling up, some of the pre-spawners might even be there. This ditch right here, if you get them, like if you catch a few and they're down there, you'll fire them up and it'd just be insane because me and Alan Bob had a day last year. We caught 20 pounds and I lost one that was about seven just down this ditch. I think our biggest is like almost five. We caught some bigs in this stuff, so... Hopefully they'll be down there today. We'll have a lot of fun. That is the old deal that we're working with. Looks sexy. You got a little prawn, hybrid jig, beamer out. I'm not even gonna scan over it. I'm just gonna hit it before we go in. You need to just stick to what we're doing for a minute here. We had fish right off the bat on this fluke. Oh, there. What? Oh, there he is. There he is. Another small one. Little fatty. See the fish? <laughs> Got another one on the fluke. That is a, look how fat that guy is for how small he is. I saw him come up and eat it, and I was like, dude, you don't have it in your mouth. And then he came up and just wiped it. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. Watched him come up and eat that thing. That's the best fish today. That's not bad. Ooh, 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 baby. Oh, baby, you looking fine today. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, yeah, you're tugging me around. Oh, mama. Yep. Not a two pounder. Very close. You're very close to a two number. That's our best fish today. Another, like, not, like I said, not a big one, but beautiful one. Thank you. Got an audience today, but a pretty bass. Fourth fish today already. We are on a roll. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. This is not good. We're actually on a killer fluke bite and we don't have any. That is not good. Cause I can tell you, if I just caught one or two on it, I right. we've caught four fish, had a bunch of other bites. <laughs> like they're eating the fluke. Like this is the pattern today, at least for the next multiple hours i can tell you that before it starts to get dark later in the day but we got a good bit of time before that got 
I'll already tell you what we need to be doing back here. We need to be searching for a potential frog bite. I think we can get it done. fish oh yes the fish is bigger than the last one getting a little better gosh look at that yeah yeah that was a sick bite he ate it like a top water another about a pound and a half but he's long he's skinny skinny boy let's get him back in the water I'll get you back in the water up back here buddy you're a pretty one you're you're my biggest today I think you're my longest at least you're not my fattest but you're my longest pretty colors on that fish it's got like a little glow to him Thank you. So I actually got these flukes right here. Uh, we're lucky that we have these. These are actually TJ's. <laughs> Thanks TJ for uh, the life-saving flukes. I don't know if I really like these though. That's my thing. They're a little too, they don't run correct in my opinion. Maybe they'll run all right today though. Just keep covering water. So I have two of these left after this fluke. And then I have one other fluke. See, it just doesn't, or yeah, that, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all, actually. It looks really good. Okay, never mind. Take everything I said about it not running how I want it to. Take that out of, take, erase that from your brain because it looks pretty good. Got her. I think that's a better one. Oh yeah, biggest one today. Biggest one today. Golly, these fish are fighting hard, guys. These fish are fighting so... Ooh, that's a really good fish. Holy cow. Get up here. Yes. Mm, three pounder. Very close to the three number. Probably two and a half. Two, she has to be two and three quarters. All right, since you guys have always been asking, we're in a way. Oh, exactly. A little over. 210. You guys can see it right there. Two pounds, 10 ounces. So in between two and a half and two and three quarters. Pretty fish. Best one today. We're gonna try out the dash cam for a bit. with you i thought i saw him eat it but i was like i don't got a fish on the line look at that it's a little tiny fatty okay it's like 10 fish on that fluke i can tell you i was thinking a second ago we're coming out on the main lake i was thinking maybe a spinner bait to get the job done the conditions are perfect you know cloudy outside it looks like it's about to become bluebird skies it looks like all these clouds are about to move by i don't know but spinner bait right now with this wind and the cloud cover i think would be really good too but we're going to continue with the fluke i mean we're just catching them if we just keep catching the smaller ones, then we're gonna switch up to something different. But I mean, while we're catching fish on it, might as well keep on going. Golly, next cast. This is a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay. Baby, let's go. You a solid three pounder. Yes, sir. <laughs> right there, guys. That was the next cast. After that small one, what did I say? I was like, if we keep on catching small ones with this, I don't know about it. Next cast, three pounder. Woo! All right, we're gonna put the pot spot lock on. We're gonna get the scale out and weigh this guy. Oh no, what look at that. It's got like a little chunk missing out of her. A fish might be pushing three. I don't know if she's quite it's gonna be close. Maybe this main lake bite's gonna be good. Got the scale zeroed out. 
thinking she's two and three quarters. She's definitely two and three quarters. On the money, literally on the money. Look at that, 212. Two and three quarters, exactly. Yeah, I was, once I saw her and I saw that little chunk missing out of her, but that's still a beautiful fish right there. Almost a three pounder, best fish today. We're finding the bigger ones. Let's keep her going. There's no way, this bite is crazy, guys. We've already caught like 12 fish in like an hour and a half, two hours. Woo. Tiny one though. That was a baby baby. That's probably the smallest one all day. What a giant. What a toad. I don't even know if that counts as a fish. They're coming quick, man. This main league bite might be better than I thought. And we caught them on that flat this morning instantly. Maybe they're on this other stuff really good. Oh, there's one under me. Please eat it. Please eat it. You're a good one. About a three pounder under me right there. If we could have caught all the fish that we missed today or just the followers, we would probably have around 20 fish today already. You guys won't believe what just happened when I cut that camera off. So I just looked at the, so I turned my GoPro off because I reset my clips. And as I turned my GoPro off, I looked to my left and one blew up on my fluke about two and a half pounds. He had it in his mouth, but I tried to turn the GoPro on and it just, he spit it out. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Golly, no. Oh. All right, this is a little slippery. A slippery jokester. He felt big when I hooked him. I don't know what's wrong with these little tiny fat guys just biting today. We've caught so many of these. It's so weird, you gotta weave through these, but you'll catch some good ones. And we've had a couple good, almost three pounders. We saw a lot follow us in. It's just you gotta weave through these little ruts to, to get to the other fish. What? Hold on. That right there is a piece of grass I just pulled out of his ass. Nice. to me too when you catch over 10 fish guys please retie please retie that's about a four pounder biggest one all day i'm taking us off this spot oh i knew i was gonna catch a big one right there and he swirled on it i popped it a couple more times and he freaking ate it he was right at the boat probably five foot from me. he's about four pounds right there just clean break I caught like 12, 13 fish so far. I haven't even retied. I knew I probably should have retied. This is thin line too. I believe it's only 12 pound. And I usually don't throw anything below 15. But with a fluke and a jerk bait, you know, I don't want anything too heavy. Around 10 to 12 pound. But ah, oh, that's aggravating. That was our first like big one that we just like like saw. Of course he broke me off. But we're gonna retie. We're gonna keep our energy high. It's all good. You know, we're gonna catch some more fish today. We just gotta keep covering water and uh that's alright. Things happen when you fish. You just gotta put your head down and uh keep going all right got a fluke back on i think the worst thing about that situation is not really losing the fish is losing the fluke because like i said we only have a couple we have two flukes left and this one right here this was actually only a four count in the package and i think it's because it's made out of this like elastic stuff and i will say it did last a lot longer than a normal fluke it uh i mean i caught like probably four fish on it right there and then just lost the big one but i think there's gonna be more fish right here there's a bunch of isolated grass and a bunch of slop that's kind of pulled off the bank a lot that's below the surface is submerged and i haven't really seen much stuff like this it's like a little flat with a bunch of grass on it so i think there might be a couple more big oh fish just knocked some out of the water up in that grass that's gonna be good let's get back in there Oh, 
had me in that goop up there. That's my first frog fish today. First, first fish on any other bait. Let's go. Sure enough, she ate it. I thought there was gonna be a fish up in this little spot. There's a little bit of open water. Like I said, the wind's whipping today, but you know, there's some calm water. There's a lay down and there's a tree. I skipped right under that tree. Boom, got a little chunk right there. Pretty little fish. First fish on a frog. Let's keep her going. There we go. Can't tell if he's big. Oh, well, the third biggest today. Not a bad one. Ah, there we go. Solid two pounder. That fish right there has some beautiful, beautiful markings on it. Two number on the fluke. It's been a minute. I'll let that bait pause right there in front of that mat. Sure enough, she came out and grabbed that fluke. Pretty fish, beautiful markings on that one. That's exactly what we want today. We're gonna get her right back in the water. Yo, make sure.